We're out feeding hyenas. Call your mom. So we're in Hara, in the extreme east of Ethiopia, over near the Somalian border. And it's probably the oldest Islamic city in the whole of Africa. And tonight, we're gonna go and feed some hyenas. So, we're in for a bit of a, bit of an interesting uh, evening. So sit back, sit tight, and enjoy yourselves. So we have to wait about an hour until it gets dark, but it's on its way. Another tourist. Wow. Wild. Hello, James. Nazri wa Aral. Aral, the dead dev kusubat shal. So I'm just having a little snack whilst I wait for the uh, the hyena man. Uh, as you can see, it's still a bit bright. We have to wait until it gets dark. But apparently, the hyenas have been in this part of Africa for for centuries, and. The man who feeds the hyenas uh, started at the turn of the century and they started feeding the hyenas uh, to stop the hyenas eating the local livestock and that tradition has continued until today but it's, it's not going to last much longer so if you want to see it for yourself you better hurry. Anyway, he should be here in about 30 minutes. I'm going to finish my dinner. <laughs> It's pretty dark, but I'm just having a having a one of the local beers, Kidami. Uh, just waiting for it to go dark and wait for the hyena man. And we're in this little bar here. Yeah. So these boys, these boys are just chopping up some meat for the hyenas. Check it out. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> So it should be here pretty soon. Oh, there's quite a crowd. There's a lot of people waiting. <laughs> I don't know if you can see me, but everyone's sitting patiently behind me and you can hear the guy. You can hear the man shouting, the hyena man. He's like shouting for the hyenas to come to like this little square at the edge of town. There's quite a few, quite a few tourists. It must be like 20, 30 people all waiting to see the hyenas. And the man from the bar, the man from the bars came, come with me. Brother. <laughs> My brother from the bar. Brother. It's very dark. <laughs> but I don't know if you know, the hyenas, they've got one, the, it's one animal with the strongest jaws. So you're gonna have to be very careful. Don't want it to grab hold of my arm. Yeah. Yeah, hey! I'm <laughs> Oh! 
So we didn't get to see the hyenas, but I'll give it another try tomorrow night. But I had a few beers and I'm feeling quite merry and I uh, met some friendly people. A couple of guys there, they want to call me tomorrow for breakfast. And there was quite a few, oh, I've got the hiccups. Quite a few people from uh, different towns and different cities in Ethiopia. They came to visit. So, anyway, bedtime. So we're off. We're off on a second attempt to go and see these hyenas, and I think we're going to a slightly different place from last time. The the, the, the what place? The northern place. No, northern, eastern, 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 the, eastern. Oldest place. the oldest place. Okay, so hopefully we should should be able to see them tonight with a bit of luck. Probably can't see anything. It's pretty dark, but we just arrived. Just arrived by a tomb at a tree, <laughs> and it's getting a bit dark. So they should be here soon. You can't see very well, but there's lots of bones. Oh, there's a guy preparing the meat here as well. Yeah. It smells. <laughs> and some customers already waiting. So we're the, we look like look like looks like we're the second to arrive. So. Uh, this is a day which is called Ashura. Yeah. So this Ashura day, uh, the local predicts, and mainly at the top of their mountain, mm -hmm. there is a big tomb shrine places. Yeah. On those places, they make big portion of porridge, and a group of hyenas will come there on the time. Yeah. And if they eat the porridge, half of it. The local predict they believe that Harar will be safe from bad evil spirits, and next next year will be great. Yeah. It's a good wish yeah. and bad wish, you know. Yeah. So this is how they start. Okay. And this is why the hyenas don't attack something in life when they are around Harar and in Harar. Because so th the people always give them food. Yeah. Yeah. Promised yeah. each other, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this guy. How he start to feed the hyenas is, you know, um, uh, before 50 years and 60 years, so a lot of hyenas, they get close to the city during the night time. Mm. So they found two slaughterhouse yeah. where they can get easily leftovers. Yeah. The men, they used to work at the slaughterhouse. Mm -hmm. So they just drop them leftover bone and meats and try to become more friendly mm. after so and they start to feed them after and after it become an attraction yeah so this is how they start mm. um so, so, so the hyenas have so, seven horsepower so if you don't get if if they don't give the hyenas any food could could they attack the humans this is actually the pious people yeah on the on 18th century so they get promised each other with the hyenas and uh, between hyenas and people yeah. the hyenas they used to attack people uh, okay on 15th century right so you know this wall the city wall yeah before it builds yeah so the hyenas they were attacking humans yeah and something in life livestock yeah yeah, yeah. so the pious people from the town, mm -hmm. uh, I mean, elder, pious, religious, yeah. father, mm. people, so they they talk with the hyenas yeah. leaders yeah. Yeah. that 
they gonna feed them mm. a food once a year mm. and they want them just to piss each other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is why they don't so when, attack. So when, when do they make the porridge up on the mountain? This day is a day, yeah. uh, the day, it's uh, Muharram, 10th of Muharram. So the first hyena's just arrived. He's looking quite sen quite sensitive and a bit intimidated. But it's, oh, there's two now. And I don't know how well you can see, but they've just arrived at the same time as the call to prayer. There's about four of them now. They're very timid. They keep approaching the guy. There's a guy up and there's a little mound in front of us and there's a guy with a basket full of meat and he keeps chucking it out to them and they're coming up slowly and there's a little little baby one like um, but as I said they're quite timid but hopefully more will come and we'll get, get a chance to feed them so there's one right in front of us in front of this big there's a big crowd of people now but there's only one all the others have left but I've been told they'll come one by one What <laughs> So we've all been sent back down the little hill and we're all sat around on this kind of uh, like a little auditorium that's been built for hyena spectating because they're quite sensitive but at least they've come and I've seen quite a few of them because we didn't see any the other night. Uh, this guy looks a bit more experienced, he's just whistling, whereas the other the guy the other night was actually shouting. So I just got dropped off back at the hotel. I was there about two hours, met some nice people. A couple of people from America, a couple of people from Djibouti, Somaliland. There's quite a few, bit of an international audience. And I've got a book, guys, nine o'clock now. And I've got to get a bus at three o'clock in the morning back to Addis Ababa. So I'm going to go and take a shower, pack my bag and have a little rest. So thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.